Greetings in the name of the Messiah is King Yadia, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And right now I'm in a live trade on Nvidia. And um today is the 15th of August 2022. Right now the time is 10:05 a.m. And um I'm gonna kinda break down why I'm in this trade. Let's see. First of all, we're looking at um this right here is the Muni bonds national muni bond and um the bond price was kind of pushing up here in 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 the uh, like the beginning of the market so that's kind of a indication of some selling in the stock market so um actually right now we're starting to sell off so it might get some support in the stock market right so um let's see here what else we got right so looking at the us dollar the US dollar is looking very strong, so that's um, indicative of some selling in the stock market. So you see we're getting some support here at a bullish level on the Camarillas R4. And we're pushing back up now to the highs, right? So um, I'm going to hit R5 and R6 soon. So with the US dollar being bullish, we should get some selling off in the stock market, right? And um, let's see what else we got here. Looking at the VIX, the VIX is kind of con contrary to my thesis right now of a sell-off in the stock market, right? Because the VIX keeps moving lower. So that's one thing against like short in the market, which I'm short NVIDIA right now. So um, this is a little tricky right here. That's contrary to the thesis because if the VIX keeps moving lower, we should, um, we should get like some bullishness in the stock market. So... All right, let's look at the NQ1. Well, actually, this is my um, this is my um, tick chart, but um, let's bypass that. Right. So looking at the NQ, right? NQ1. Let me close off the alert section. So you see here, we ran up to almost R3, and we got some rejection right there. And now we're kind of pulling back to um, yesterday's close, right? Which was Friday's close. And um, support levels here at S1 and the top central pivot is, is coming up right now. So this initial bullish run right here, let's see if they can hold that. And um, let's see, going over to the NVIDIA chart on trade and view. Right, so you can see we had that big bullish gap up. We hit R2, excuse me, that's the monthly R2 right there. This is the floor pivot R2. So we hit around that level and we, we never really broke above that. So it's looking weak right now. We broke, it's a, actually, a, um, what is it? It's a higher value level on the Camarillas and we hit R3 and now we're breaking down, right? So might probably come back into value around this area at um, Friday's close around this area right here. You know, just come back into value. So let's see what it's going to do. We actually just broke um, lower VWAP on trade and views um, indicators. But trade and view doesn't calculate like the pre-market. So it's a little different from, from my DAS, um, DAS platform. So let's pull this down. And look at some actual trades, right? Right, so at the beginning here, with with NVIDIA having a higher value level on the Camarillas, this is our tree right here at um, 189.18. So I took the breakout here because since we're so bullish, we're looking, we're, we're above S3. You know, we held above S3 in the pre-market, had the nice bullish candle on the five minute. So I took the, the R3 breakout, right? So my stop was below um, R2. So it came back. I think, yeah, this was my stop right here when we broke VWAP. I just stopped out, right? So that was a losing trade right there at the beginning. And as we stopped out, as I stopped out, and of course, looking at this candle right here as a reversal candle, right? 
and then the major selling i just flipped my position went short at r2 added to the position on the on the anticipation of the break of um lower view up right so just above we had the little support right there at r1 187.78 and um we had this rejection we had the the response to this candle right here we had the rejection at r3 again so i was supposed to enter here again at at r3 but um i don't know i was just a little cautious because we're in a we're in a higher value um camera roller setup so all of this stuff here this pullback could have been just coming back for you know liquidation grab and grab some more buyers and and head um head up right so with that being said i i took the short here on the break of vwap and just above lower vwap right there right so the response to that that candle was actually more bullishness coming up to actually r1 on the floor pivot which is 189.66 but the response is failure again right this doji candle so with the failure right here on this candle i actually took the r3 breakdown this time and now we're flushing down we're all the way almost at um friday's close so right now it's in profit it's looking good um i'm actually thinking i want to get back to like 185 because it's like a traverse right it's a r3 to s3 traverse and um on the on my linear regression chart um s1 the floor pivot s1 is actually down at 184 uh, but the pivot is at 185.46 so these are levels i gotta look out for right 185.46 and um what is it 185 you know what i'm saying somewhere around there like 185 is like the s3 level so that could just be a traverse it doesn't have to break down further than 185 so i'll probably take up a, a nice little partial probably partial like 75 percent of my position at s3 and um just see how it goes from there you know if it want to break down to to floor pivot s1 at 183.74 i'll probably try and get out a little above that at 184 so um we're selling off nice right now it's looking good um let's see here it's one thing i'm looking at man is it's the the vix is not cooperating right now with a sell-off i mean we're getting a little push up right but the vix pulling down like this isn't really bearish right that's not bearish right there and the response right now is i don't like it it's not great you know but we're still very we're in a bullish posture here at above r4 right so let's see how that goes um let's see go over here to right bonds is pushing back up so that's that's a good reason for a sell-off right there if we get the bonds to come back up to the highs and the floor pivot r1 is right there at 108 19 right now we're at um 108 13 so the bonds is looking like they want to make a move let's see let's look at the volume here a little bigger make that a little bigger but the selling volume is way bigger than the, the buying volume so this is a little tricky so i'm thinking okay right now with with the bonds looking like an anomaly to the bullish side and the VIX still pulling back. I don't think this is this NVIDIA trade short is gonna run all the way to like um to 184. Although we see in this this bullish candle right here. Let me go back to this chart. I think it's not gonna last that long. So at yesterday's close, let me see. Let me just try and do some right here. right so i'm gonna take off half my position right there i'm gonna break even my stop 
and um, let's see what happens from here because I'm not too sure with, with these indicators showing that the bearishness mightn't be all that, you know. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to take off half right there. That was um, pre-market high. And let's see if we get to like the, the R3 to S3 Travers, the 185. I think that's my target right there. I think I'll try and set that right now. So we'll do 185.10 and I'll put my stop here at 188. Right, move that break even. And right, so that's the trade setup right there. I'm not going to try and push for like um, floor pivot S1 or 184. I'm going to try and capture 185.10 and see if that works out. I might even lower my st well actually this is good like um this stop right here at 188 it's above um lower vwap which is one of my um let me see which is one of my rules right here if it if it, if we're selling off and we pull back up to to lower vwap then I should exit the trade so let's see what it does here so that stop is in a good position according to my rules anyway let's see let's pull across the level two the level two the bid side is looking it's kind of even right now we're getting some 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 bearishness right there on the bid side buyers are jumping in kind of not not really at a market market price but close to it you know and we're getting this doji candle right here that's some support coming in yeah i'm not liking that that price action right there at all Let me take a look at something right here. Hold on. Let me go back over to the VIX. See that VIX is not is not pushing up. The bonds isn't isn't pushing up either. Getting some resistance there at R3, so um I think it's gonna recover. We're getting some support here on the N NQ1 right there at S1. So we back at value right here on um on NVIDIA. If you look to the left right here, we had this this value area. So it looks like we're pushing up from there. All right, so I'm going to take a stop out here at 187.52 if it pushes above that. Because I think it's probably going to get some support here. This is where the the price action has it has to prove itself to me. If it's gonna fall, then I'm I'm keeping my stop a little tight. Right. So now the price action is doing what it's supposed to do, and we're just managing the risk, right, and trying to secure some profit. So the bid side is much heavier now. All the sellers they they came out of the of the ask they're not trying to it means like they're not trying to to exit their position anymore 
on a limit order. So they're probably just, you know, hitting market orders and, and stopping out right now. That's the bullish side of the markets, you know. So if they don't have limit orders, that's like up here trying to capture that, that um, profit and they exit their limit orders on the ass, that mean they probably switch into market orders. They just cancel that order right there and they're just gonna sell as, as we come down to these levels. And you can see that here like on the on the time and sales with these white orders right here that's market orders and I consider them market orders because they're in between the bid and the ask so they they I have them as as white orders here so once those start triggering a lot more than anything else to me the buyers are stopping out right there because it's like I said they they came off the ask on a on a limit the add the limit orders they had on the ass trying to get to capture profit they just close those um close those orders and start hitting these market orders here to get out their position and the bids these guys here on these limit orders are trying to attract price lower so this could be um short sellers you know their profit targets like me you know that's how I kind of read it All right so you see how dry the, the ask is up there at 187 and stuff like that you see how dry it is? They have one at 187.60. They're just not confident they're going to get that. And the bid is getting stronger at 186. And to me, who would set, who would set a limit order on the bid? It would be people like me, right? The, you're trying to get profit. I don't think it's buyers setting... Like buyers would just enter the market on probably a market order like these these um the support right here would be buyers just entering market orders. I don't think they're gonna just set limit orders, you know what I'm saying this is profit targets for short sellers. Let's see if there's anybody down at my level though. I'm trying to get 185.10 but um, it looks kind of dry down there though so I mightn't get to that level so the more these guys here start to probably stack up around this level here is um, maybe they're trying to get out in profit you know like 186 to the 6 all around these levels here these these highlighted orders 186 to the 5 they're probably trying to grab that that extra 30 cents back at um that's probably like i think that's s1 right there on hold on Yeah, so we're back at the support level right here. So um, S1 is looking like it's putting up some, some support for the buyers, you know. See, the market orders are still coming in heavy. I think I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to take off, I'm going to take another partial right here 
and let's see if we get that S3. Alright, I'm going to stick with 187.34 as the stop. I'm trying to get to 185.10. Let's see if that works out. And the reason I did that is because, like I was saying, I think the buyers might come in and start hitting market orders. And that's what we're seeing right now on... You see we even getting hit above the ask right there so that might be some profit taken as well they just grabbing that that little push up right there the bulls might be just selling out at that level friday's close but to me there they might be have they might have some some bullishness going on here with these um white orders these market orders especially at this level right here of um you know this sideways movement right here let me just move this especially at this level right here that's where the buyers initially came in right around VWAP you see that's VWAP that white line right there so they're defending this area for sure So I'm going to have my stop right there at pre-market high. If they want to break back up above, I'm going to just get out their way, take my profit. and It's a good day so far. We in profit, so it's all good. I think after this, I'm going to do a little video on some trading psychology because I had um, two bad days in a row. I was actually thinking about... I got real angry, man, so I was thinking about quitting, you know what I'm saying, because it's just breaking my own rules and, and just getting frustrated, you know, so I think I'm going to do a video about that after this one. Let's see, what time is it? Um, 10.28. So, you know, at 11 o'clock, we usually get like a change in direction. So maybe we might get to S3 before 11 o'clock in this half an hour coming up here. And um, let's see what happens, man. And Bulls still, still um, trying to defend this area right here. So they're still trying to defend their entry, entry level. Not much volume though, the volume is lackluster, you know. Yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to get stopped up because there's a lot of market orders. So, I think they're trying to really defend their position. Right now the ask is looking looking stronger on the level 2. They might be trying to get out their position as well. Come on, just stop me out if you're going to stop me out. Alright, so I'm stopped out right there at 187.39. And um, 
maybe it'll still break down because we're we're kind of getting this kind of funny price action right at lower view up but um all in all it's a it's a decent trade um i don't really have much complaints here on this one the only thing is i missed this r3 entry right here um, on this candle um actually could have entered a lot quicker here on the break of view up but still we had this push back up so um I guess waiting on this next confirmation here of like a lower high was was cool, you know what I mean? And then we we kind of managed this trade kind of good, you know. Took some profit here when we saw this kind of doji candle. Came back down here, saw the support here at this level, took a partial right there. And it's the is the break above lower view up. We just close our position right there. So all in all this is obeying all my rules and stuff like that and um yeah man just continuing the grind you know what i'm saying and i don't know like you could you might probably hear it in my voice like i'm not really that enthusiastic right now it's, it's just my trading psychology is a little shaken right now so i'm just in perseverance mode because of those two losses on last week thursday and friday so it's just part of the game man you know what i'm saying this was this was good to like pull back out a win but um i kind of i had bad risk management on those days you know so i just gotta get my mind right now and just get my head back in the game you know what i'm saying this right here is just um it's just mechanical trading for me right now just to just to stay trading you know what i'm saying but um, I wasn't happy with my performance on Thursday and Friday. So it's just a little perseverance right now. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. It's King Yediyah, a.k.a. King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And y'all trade safe and stay blessed.